Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here with another video. This video is about valuable bicentennial quarters worth money. Now we've done many videos about them before. Some were dedicated to the heirs, some to proof coins, and we will link them to the end of this one. But in this video, we will give you more combined information on them in one video, and of course, the most recent values. So in the end, you'll know how valuable bicentennial quarters really are. Bicentennial quarters have a different design from quarters minted before 75 and after 76. They show the date on the obverse of 1776 to 1976, and the drummer boy and a victory torch encircled by 13 stars on the reverse. They were issued to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. They were minted in 1975 and 1976, but you won't find a coin with the 1975 date on it. Based on the design only, it is not possible to distinguish between a bicentennial quarter issued in 1975 or 1976 because the same design was used during both those years. Nearly 1.7 billion general circulation bicentennial quarters were struck at the Philadelphia and Denver mints combined. About 7 million proof quarters of clad composition were coined at the San Francisco mint and were sold to collectors. The San Francisco mint also produced a special 40% silver bicentennial quarter for collectors in both uncirculated approximately 11 million mintage, and proof, approximately 4 million mintage. The 1976 P clad quarter will not have a mint mark and is the scarcer of the two in mintage. In fact, in MS67+, Plus, which is the highest grade known for this coin from the Philadelphia Mint, and only one coin was graded until now, it never went to auction. The estimated value is $2,750. The bicentennial quarters struck in Denver will have a D mint mark. The highest grade known for bicentennial quarters from the Denver mint is MS68. And this absolutely beautiful coin you see in the picture sold this year, January of 2019, at Legend Rare Coin Auction for $5,170. In MS64, bicentennials from both P and D mint are only worth about five bucks. Now, speaking of coins struck in the San Francisco mint, the mint produced a business strike 1976S bicentennial quarter composed of silver. For the proof bicentennial quarter, the mint also produced two different types, in clad composition and silver. Both proof quarters bear the S mint mark since they were produced at the San Francisco Mint. In the clad composition, 1976S Bicentennial Quarter in the highest grade known, Proof 70, this coin sold in 2018 for $875. As for the 76S Proof Silver, the highest grade known is Proof 69, and the coin you see in this picture sold also in 2018 for only $9.99. In a business regular strike silver composition, this coin in high grades is very rare, and the example you see in the picture, graded MS69, sold at Heritage Auctions for $5,888. And now, about known varieties on 1976D Bicentennial Quarters. Double die obverse. There are two known designations of this variety. We did a video explaining in detail the difference. And we also have a coin list on our website, jbcoinsinc.com dedicated only to bicentennial coins, all bicentennial coins, not only quarters, and listing all varieties and errors on them. And now, 
bought the values. The first coin you see in the picture is a 1976D double die obverse FS-102 designation graded MS-66 by PCGS and it sold in March of 2018 at Heritage Auction for $144. Now in the next picture, that's of a 1976D double die obverse FS-101 designation it's graded only MS-62 by PCGS, and it sold at Heritage Auctions on February of 2018 for $810. It's a very nice profit for this coin. In lower circulated grades, this variety is still worth hundreds, so always check your change. So now you should have a great picture of what the Bicentennial is really worth, depending on mint mark, variety, and of course, condition. We hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and until next time, JNB signing out.